here, here to talk, talk to you about, about offshore drilling. drilling. So, Jason, what is offshore drilling? Well, Zoe, offshore drilling is the operation of oil wells on the continental shelf, sometimes in water hundreds of feet deep. What if a developing country wanted to drill for oil in their offshore waters? The oil rigs co all cost a lot of money to build, dig, and maintain. However, the natural resource that the platforms drill for helps the country's economy. As oil is high in demand right now. In contrast, if the rig malfunctions and spills, it can be devastating. The oil will run with the current and spread wide all along the coast. This destroys the cleanliness of beaches and contaminates swamps, wildlife reserves, and marine life. You see, offshore drilling is going to be a huge deal until we find an alternative use of fuel because oil is the main fossil fuel that we use. So where does it happen? It happens most in the Gulf of Mexico. This is a map in which all of the blue dots represent the offshore platforms that drill oil in the Gulf of Mexico. So why do we drill? We drill to get oil, and that oil is used for transportation, to heat our homes, and to generate a lot of electricity. So Zoe, do you know why it's a problem? Well Jason, offshore drilling is a problem because the drilling companies aren't restricted in their actions, and without constraints, careless mistakes can be made. If the mistakes are big enough, it can result in the oil spilling out into clean water in the Gulf. It also causes disturbances in the crust if the well is not drilled properly. Once the water spills into the Gulf, it contaminates the entire ecosystem. So say this, this is all an ecosystem. All of these balls are represented an animal. This would be a producer, like algae. This would be a primary consumer, like plankton. And this would be a secondary consumer, like a fish. And it continues all the way up to the tertiary consumers. Now, this ball right here is the oil. If it hits the algae and contaminates it, it continues all along an effect. All of the animals are affected because of bioaccumulation, because the contaminants are introduced at the bottom level and the organisms consume the contaminated food, which is the algae, and they absorb the contaminants. Because the amount of energy required gets higher at each level, these organisms have to consume more and thus can accumulate higher levels of contaminants in their bodies by accumulation. So, in all, the oil affects the entire ecosystem. Over the course of history, many oil spills have occurred, affecting the environment in major ways. It destroys the population in the ecosystem and destabilizes the Earth's crust by creating fractures in it. For example, BP released a massive oil slick in the Gulf of Mexico in April 2010 after a drilling rig exploded and sank off the Louisiana coast, killing 11 workers and leaving four others critically injured. A leak in the pipe a mile deep spewed out what the government eventually estimated to be nearly 5 million gallons of oil into the Gulf of Mexico, making it the largest accidental spill in history. The U.S. Mexico, the Persian Gulf, South Africa, France. It was thought to be the largest biological kill from any spill that they have looked at at that time. Canada, Trinidad and Tobago, and the UK. So what can we do to stop the oil rigs from spilling? The UN needs to issue new rules that tighten standards for well design, blowout preventers, safety certification, emergency response, and worker training. Laws need to be put in place to make sure that certain regulations are met for safety, and backup systems also need to be placed in case systems fail. Companies need to make sure that equipment is checked once every few months, and also make sure monitors and workers are qualified for their jobs. Examples like don't like they're not falling asleep, and they possess enough knowledge, and others too. We hope you take this into consideration when making your decision.